The rotor is made with a plastic cap, four neodymium magnets and a large needle. The needle will go through the center of the cap and will serve as an axis of rotation. Then we will place the four neodymium magnets symmetrically on the cap and we have to take care that we, have this, uh, we must have the same pole facing outwards of the cap. It can be north or south, it doesn't matter, but it has to be the same pole in each of the four magnets. Here is the rotor. We have used epoxy to glue the needle and the four magnets. We need to make an electromagnet. For the rotor we use the plastic tube from a pen and a couple of plastic washers. Here we can see the plastic tube from the pen and the two washers from a plastic card. And we have about 500 turns of magnet wire. This wire is size 29, you can also use size 30. And we have this aluminum base. The motor works in the following way. When the magnet passes in front of the electromagnet, this is turned on and the repulsion makes the rotor turn. Then the electromagnet is turned off, the motor continues to rotate and when another magnet passes in front, it is turned on again and moves again and this is repeated every time a magnet passes in front of the electromagnet. The rotor goes in this base. This has two magnets. This allows us to put the rotor in this position and we will have very low friction. The only sources of friction come from the needle tip, which is very low and the friction with the air itself. The rotor will rotate for a very long time since the friction is very low. It is also stable. We can move it and the rotor maintains its position. The stability comes from the magnets and the gyroscopic effect of the rotation of the rotor. The electric circuit is very simple. The battery connects to the main switch. This connects to the magnetic switch, which goes to the electromagnet, and the electromagnet goes back to the battery. Let's see the motor in action. Turn on the switch, and it slowly starts to rotate. It will gain speed with each kick from the electromagnet. When we turn off, the motor continues to rotate for a long time due to the low friction. Now, if we move the electromagnet closer to the rotor, it will spin faster. We can also make the rotor turn in the opposite direction if we move the electromagnet in such a way that the force is in the opposite direction. 